what does it mean, you know, to social sell? Well, I, you, you said you love your car business. We all love the car business. And I'm going to tell you the thing I love the most about the car business and, and most of the people in the car business probably love about the most about the car business is the fact that every human being you've ever met in North America, uh, in Australia, New Zealand, wherever too, the virtual 99.99% of every human being you ever met or ever going to meet is going to be a car buyer. It's someday. The market is huge. The world is a target rich environment and people prefer to buy from people they know, like, and trust. They have, you know, I read an article yesterday that said 87% of all, of all consumers would pay extra for a better consumer experience. And the consumer experience starts long before they walk into the dealership. It starts when they first hear your name or they first meet you. And so people prefer to, would prefer to buy from people they know, like, and trust. 97% of them would prefer to know who they're buying from before they set foot in the dealership because going in to make that second largest purchase is, is scary. And, uh, and car dealers don't have the best reputation. So people avoid it as long as possible unless they have a friend in the car business. And that's what social selling is, to be a friend in the car business before they get ready to make the purchase. So they know who you are before they start shopping. So they know who to call when they're ready to buy. And it's just calling another friend, going in and doing a deal. And, uh, and then you maintain that relationship much longer, a year after the sale, when nine out of 10 car buyers can't even remember the name of the person that they bought the car from. You maintain the relationship down the line so you get more reviews, more referrals, and more repeat business to bring it back to the top of the funnel. And I, I hate to say it, but as an industry, I don't think we do a great job of setting up our sales team for that opportunity. I mean, when we look at our marketing messages, I mean, those messages out there aren't like, hey, let's create a relationship, you know, let's, let, let's, um, let's help you find that product. No, you know, our marketing messages are huge discounts, low lease rates, one day only. You know, like that doesn't necessarily sound like you want to make a connection with me, but I think the dealerships out there that are executing and executing well realize that that's, if they're going to set up their sales team to create that social relationship, then they, it starts with the marketing. To your point, Terry, you know, um, the the engagement with the dealership starts way before they actually come into the dealership. And that first message they hear on the radio or the first ad they see, you know, um, digitally, that sets the stage 